Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and uh, welcome to the collection screen of Tower of Guns. So, this is going to be a full episode, don't worry. I just figured I'd, you know, stop for a second and kind of, I guess, progress check, whatever check you want to call it. Anyway, so if you look at the, like, top part of the collection, the mystery boxes are the things that I have not, I have not gotten yet. Except for one of them, which I believe is actually the mystery box usable item. So, as it stands, looking at it right now, there are five activated items I have yet to find in this game. And then if you look down in the weapon mods, there's one I haven't found yet. And for the life of me, I don't actually know what it is. So either it's like a very rare drop, or it only drops under certain circumstances. Which means uh, we're going to need a lot more testing. Anyway, I record lifespan. Uh... Oh, record lifespan, 123 minutes, 300, uh, 34 seconds, average, 25 minutes, 20 seconds. It's actually not half bad. My hugbot uh, kill ratio is pretty low, too. Lots of robots killed, but most of all, 87% complete and rank opportunistic, enthusiastic, online cartoonist. Now, uh, let's just hop in. I'm going to be doing... Duh. I'm not going to be doing nightmare mode yet. Um... I just woke up, my eyes are a little bleary, and nightmare mode I think would be too much for me. Plus there's like cereal in my teeth and I'm kind of waiting for it to go away so it doesn't distract me from, you know, the ultra hard, you know, uh, death that is nightmare mode. But anyway, uh, one of the reasons why I called attention to all of that, and this is I guess going to follow the general train of the previous episode where I talk about stuff. So oh, uh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Every single time I record Tower of Guns, I forgot to do the most important thing, and that is to have the previous episode upload. Because, uh, if, you, if you've been paying attention to my runs, at least recently, which, you know, I hope you have, uh, I like the attention, a lot of my runs have been going well above, you know, the one to two hour limit. There, there have been a lot of runs that have been like, you know, well, not two hour limit. I, I guess if you count my endless ones, yeah, they do go above the... 10 hour, uh, 10 hour, oh, 10 hour Tower of Guns run. That would have to be like, oh. Now that would be interesting. So, there's God Mode in this game. It'd be really interesting. I might actually do this. Um. It'd be really interesting to do a Tower of Guns run. God Mode. Sort of. So, my plan is, or my plan would be, play God Mode Endless for the first, like, while. And then, this is gonna hurt a little bit. <sighs> Was it worth it? Definitely worth it. Anyway, uh, so I'd play God Mode up until, like, Endless 3, 4, 5. Some, like, really ridiculous amount. And it's like, yes, it would be cheating, but it would be really interesting to see just, like, how ridiculous it, it would be. My frame rate would be just like the most unhappy with me at, of like any frame rate ever. I'm not even gonna like bother with them. I'm gonna take too much damage and it's not gonna be worth it. And since we're running the Hedgehog Launcher, we need to get our weapon level up high, we need to stay healthy. Because once this thing gets up to like weapon level four, five, six, uh, shit gets like really ridiculous. But if I can't get up there, then we're kind of in trouble. So I'm just gonna kind of strafe around these. I guess I should still be shooting them, come to think of it. Still getting hit by stuff, but it's not so bad. Okay, and we're doing fine. So, uh, it would be really interesting to see what, you know, Endless 10 is like. I didn't see him, and I was really hoping I could hop on hop on pop, but uh, hopping on pop ain't always the most effective of strategies. Okay, is there going to be an enemy down here? Yes, there is. Hello. Well, all of my shots just kind of went around it, and... Hopefully we can get enough coinage to afford that difficulty reduction, because man, the last run was substan substantially easier than I thought it was going to be, and that worked out very well for us. So we've got a couple of saw blades shooting. I'm never happy about running up like long passageways with saw blades firing at me, but we came out all right-ish. I mean, we've still got a couple of spin bots. Ah, come on. 
the surprise knocked me off the ledge. At least they killed themselves, but uh, not exactly the best playing on my part. But at least we're at weapon level 2, and we're not terribly hurt. The extra health pickup is going to be nice. But I don't think we're going to have enough cash to get the difficulty reduction, which makes me a little sad. It's definitely one of those where, in Tower of Guns, I really wish it was like Binding of Isaac, where you could go back to previous rooms after you've cleared one. And I'm fairly certain it doesn't do that because of, like, frame rate stuff, but still makes me sad. Anyway, a bit of a last-ditch effort to get that coin. <sighs> well, we got these, and if we could get the other one... Oh, come on. Well, we're not getting the other one. We're just going to end up hurting ourselves. Ah, it makes me sad. Makes me wish I had, like, one extra jump, because that coin is going to disappear, and I'm going to remain poor. Probably, because it's stuck in the level architecture, and there's no way for me to get it when it's like that. So let's pop over here. We might still have enough funds. But not funds. We might still have enough money just kind of lying around on the level. Yeah, to afford the difficulty reduction. Yay. Happy day. Because, you know, I've taken a fair amount of damage just kind of hopping around this level. A lot of it is my fault, but it's also one of those is like... Coming out of here with nothing would be way more, I guess, destructive than... Uh, going through this room with, you know, full health, potentially. Difficulty reduction, I think, is probably the most important, important token of all of them. Because, you know, armor doesn't seem to have a cap, but it probably has diminishing returns. Speed as a cap. Jumps are useful to a point, and then after a certain point, it's just stupid. And, you know, just kind of so on and so forth. I don't see any other secrets. And it looks like we're fighting Dr. Turret, which I'm not happy about. Dr. Turret is definitely a pain in the butt with this gun, for cer for certain. I was trying to say, like, for sure and certain. Man, I, could, I got stuck on the level architecture again. It, it, it's this room in particular. It's got a little bit of, like, bugginess. Wow, I actually managed to kill him with a ready degree of ease. Nice. We also got the Siege Adapter, which is kind of one of those scary ones where it's like, you're immobile, but crazy. Uh, kind of like the potable uh, transmission fluid that, you know, makes you drunk, but super strong. This one just makes you shoot really fast. 40% 40 40 of the secrets found. Wow. Uh, I'm feeling a little inadequate here. <sighs> I guess I did spot a lot of them up in the rafters, like that one, that presumably I could get if I had a bunch of jumps, but I don't have a bunch of jumps, so I can't get to it. Um, you know, I think I was mentioning, I, I was trying to get onto a topic at the beginning of this episode, I actually just kind of completely let it drop. So we've got a lot of twerps, well, twerps are actually really easy to fight. Anyway, so I was talking about, or I was going to talk about my, like, 80... 7% title, the opportunistic online cartoonist. So, I've mentioned I, I'm i an artist, I do art things, I uh, want to do it for a living, and it's fun, and it's, it's what I do, apart from this. So, originally what I wanted to be, I think I mentioned I wanted to be an art teacher. That's not quite true. What I wanted to be was a webcomic artist, but, you know, webcomics are not exactly the most sustainable uh, thing, or they can be sustainable, but it's definitely like a risky business, and so I was thinking, well, that's why I'll go into, you know, being an art teacher, because I can kind of do both, and realistically, if you're going to be, like, compromising on your dreams for the sake of money, oh, come on, I am so glad I avoided, avoided that super can, I didn't even notice him there, and then just, just like, oh, that is the, that is scary, Let's get out of there before he hits us, because he can actually hit us down here, which, you know, is a wee bit terrifying. Okay. Really could use, like, a speed upgrade or a double jump here. We're, we're making out pretty okay, but at the same time, it's definitely one of those where it's like, everything is scary. So it's like the Lego Movie theme song, except for uh, a little bit more realistic, potentially. We've got a lot of bullets back behind us, but we've got this huge treasure trove over here that I would be remiss to avoid. Okay, and we're full health. Now, instead of being stupid, I'm just gonna have a couple of near misses avo avoiding bullets, but most of all, take up the cannons. Okay, so we're full health. Weapon level three, we've got sp a spiky ball launcher somewhere, which is 
a concern. Oh, there it is. That makes my life a little bit easier. And now we can kind of take our sweet time with the cannons up here. Ugh. You know, so sometimes I feel like recording these things early in the morning is not the best idea. Last night I was recording at like 8 or 9 at night. It was actually kind of awesome because, you know, usually I'm a little bit sleep deprived in the mornings. I am not a morning person by any means. Um, you know, my optimum waking time is about 11 o'clock at night, which uh, kind of sucks because the rest of the world does not like to operate under that time period. So there's something over there shooting at me. Let's first see what's over here. Um. Oh, it's the transdimensional highway. That's not interesting to me. Now let's see what's over here shooting at me. And by that, I mean bounce our hedgehogs into him if possible. It's going to be a bit hard to hit him. Oh, I actually got hit there. I was... Bit, bit weird to me. Oh, I, I was like, how did he hit me? And it's like, he didn't hit you, Wander. The guy behind you hit you. Great. Okay. So, well, we've got this guy. Let's see if I can avoid his bullets. Yes. And let's see what we got. We got an item charge, but we don't have enough money for it. And honestly, uh, there are better things for me to get health. Okay. So, hmm. Please make it. Thank you. Okay. So this guy is going to be a bit of a troll. Uh, not as much as of a troll as I thought he was going to be. And when I'm talking about troll, I mean like the under the bridge kind of troll, not, you know, the internet troll that, you know, tries to make you regret the fact that you are a person. Come on. Hmm. That's going to be a bit of a hassle. And like on one hand, I'm not even sure if I can get to that extra jump, I think I can kind of like glitch myself along the gears and get it, but it's going to be, it, it might take a couple of tries and I'm not keen on that. It's always one of those where it's like, if it weren't, if it were kind of just like a halfway useless upgrade, I'd probably pass on it, but it ain't. It's, uh, it's an extra jump, something we don't have and need desperately. So let's, let's give that another shot. But anyway, so I, I wanted to be a webcomic artist. I, I was reading like a boatload of I'm, I'm trying to think of like web comics that I really dug in the past it's like I guess I used to read a lot of 8-bit theater so the Final Fantasy 1 sprite comic I believe which was honestly extremely well written if extremely confusing oh nope Ow, that, that's gonna hurt a little bit but I think I can do it but so there's 8-bit theater um I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to come up with the comics that I actually wanted to be like as opposed to the comics I read because I was a high schooler at the time and it's like, duh, there, there are a lot of crappy comics I still read out of force of habit. I'm looking at you, questionable content, for whatever good you are. And, you know, if you're a fan of it, good for you. I think it's just one of those that I'm to the point in life where questionable content... Ah, uh, yeah. Questionable content is not the kind of comic for me. I'd prefer, like, hard sci-fi fantasy, you know, interesting stuff. Like, um... Oh, a uh, perfect example. The comic that made me want to get into comics. And, uh... Even though, like, I never really stuck with it because I ended up liking video games a hell of a lot more. Um... Dressed in Kodak. A very odd comic, for sure. But a very good one. Ow. Jumped straight into that, saw it coming in ahead. Very little recourse in that. As far as, like, protecting myself against it, there's a lot of, like, pain and unhappiness here. Uh, let's see if I can hit these guys without, you know, endangering my person. The, the one nice thing about the arcing shots is you really, you really can't avoid certain things. Okay. But it does not look like I'm going to be able to avoid going across... Uh, this section here. Mystery box. I'll pass. Okay. But yeah, so Dressed in Kodak got, got me into comics. It was extremely well done, well painted, everything, you know, that a artist slash wannabe comic artist would want to, like, idealize. And, you know, I like the idea of it, but when it comes down to it, I've got other things, better things, 
And realistically, I don't have the patience to be drawing the exact same characters, like, day in, day out. That would drive me bonkers. That didn't work. This, this might be a little bit hairier, because I don't have a speed upgrade and I don't have any extra jumps. So I have to... kind of hope and pray on a lot of things. That didn't work. That didn't work either. Okay. Part of me wants to pick up the mystery box for the, like, very small hope that it'll be jump height or a jump plus. But at the same time, this is a hedgehog launcher run. So, uh, that small hope would be severely dashed if it was, like, a jump height minus minus. Or, like, an armor minus minus. Because I, I dig the hedgehog la launcher. It's kind of a fun weapon. But at the same time, it's also one of those where... Man, didn't make it. This is a pain in the butt. Okay, um... I have half a mind to, like, jump cut to when I get there. But, unfortunately, now that I know that I have, like, Ghost, it's like, there's that slight temptation, it's like, ah, I get it anyway. Eventually. I might as well just... Uh, you know, Ghost through and call it a day. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Damn. Um, yeah, my, my jumping concentration. So, sometimes I go into this, like, weird focus mode. And I guess really everybody does. It's just Let's Players have to train themselves to... ignore it from a large perspective so that so they can, you know, commentate over stressful, stressful situations. Because it's very, very rare that you're going to be playing a game and not, like, you don't have to worry about stress whatsoever. So... Okay, that did... Ugh, that's scary. I was hoping I could, like, sit on the lip just for a second. Maybe there's, like, a timing element here that I should be paying more attention to. Uh. Ah, man. Missed that one completely. Okay. Speed plus plus. Well, that's actually going to work out well in our favor. Uh, for those of you that, you know, were being like, just get... Just get the... Mystery box, you know, it'll be, it'll be good for you. It's like, you're, you're. It sounds like you're driving to me, and driving me to be some kind of like, drug-addled loser. And in reality, uh, that is definitely a possibility as far as who and what I am. And I think, I think we're gonna make it. There we go. What did we get? Another speed pickup. So we are going to be uh, quite fast now. But that's good. Uh, the mystery box was definitely a gamble. It's always a bit of a gamble, but paid off-ish. So now we're going to be fast, going to give us a lot of dodging potential. Which is good. We need it. That turret kind of surprised me. Anyway. Let's kind of use and abuse this for a second. Hide there. Okay, nobody else showed up to make me regret my life choices, per se. And we got something... Oh, a couple of bombs over there to explode. I don't see anything else, though. I, maybe I got hit by something? It's hard to tell. Anyway, uh, we're pretty close to full health. We got one spin bot coming for us, but that, that ain't no thing. And then all we have left are these guys. Who I can kind of... Oh, there's a guy down below. That's who was shooting at me. I was like, how... M oh! That's what had hit me. My own shots had hit me. Okay, some, something just spawned. Probably up above, on that platform. I'll go investigate. I don't really have anywhere else to go. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well, didn't matter. I, I was afraid for a second I was going to take fall damage. But yeah, I heard the, like, monster spawn noise. But for the life of me, can't see where it would be, so let's just go through the door and never look back, because I've spent way too much time in that room. I haven't actually been in this room for a very long time, come to think of it. Is that a might pick up in the shop? I really hope I have enough money. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a bomb, we got some twerps, and a might pick up. So presuming I don't take a whole lot of damage here. Wow, that bomb dropped almost nothing. But presuming I can get all this stuff, we're going to be in a very good spot. I really want to hit that twerp. Except for I might not be able to. It, even though I have like crazy speed right now, I'm barely using it. I'm staying largely immobile. And. A lot of that is kind of my fault for being uh, focused on killing enemies instead of actually, like, doing important stuff. 
but eh, it'll probably work out. Hey, there, kind of did. Anyway, so we've got that, which is going to be very expensive and a bit of a gamble, or a might pickup, which is going to be less expensive, less of a gamble. So, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the might pickup, of course. There's, I mean, the mystery box could be a weapon mod. That's like the only thing that would make it redeemable in comparison to this, or armor, but at the same time, 80 coins is a pretty steep price, and maybe we'll be able to make that much dough climbing up this area, but that seems unlikely. Oh. I'll come back for it. Ouch. I got stuck on a spiky ball. I actually really like fighting the eight shooters, because even though they shoot really fast, they also uh, give you kind of ample room to dodge. That was kind of a scary situation to be in. Let's just be straight up here. This is like, I am stuck, kind of on the level architecture, kind of not, and a bomb just blew up. Whew. Okay, so definitely don't have enough money. Definitely got a little bit more damage than I wanted to deal with there. I feel like my reflexes and my like strategic thinking go down when I'm tired. And you know when my nose is runny. Because my nose is always runny in the morning, and less so at night. But again, I'm a night person, so go figure. I'm a creature of the night. <laughs> uh, but, you know what? When it comes down to it, where are those health pickups? So I want them back. They're probably up here. Oh, that feels a lot better. I can breathe. Ugh, somewhat. But that's okay. Whatever. Let's just go through, let's fight the boss. We've got a, still weapon level 3, still not the greatest on health. Oh, it's a big ol' spike. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be possibly a little bit bad. We don't have a whole heck of a lot of range. And that puts us into a, kind of an awkward position for fighting this boss. Because we've... Oh, we've got saw blades firing at us. This... I, I'm not going to, like, predict doom and gloom right now. But I'm definitely going to say we're in, uh, we're going to have some troubles here. We're definitely, we're going to have, have some issues, because I can't hit this boss the way I want to hit this boss. Because I am, I am cornered with a gun that doesn't shoot straight against a boss that's incredibly hard to reach. And everything, and its mother has decided that we are uh, bait to be shot at. And I'm gonna hide back here just for a second, I wanna see. Cause there's a small, nope, okay. Well, we're gonna die. I'm just gonna say that straight up right now. And, terrible time to get stuck on the level architecture. Terrible time for the lift to be stuck down there. Terrible time to uh, wait for the lift to come, yep. I, 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 <sighs> I guess that's just the way of things. Okay. Lifespan 22 minutes. The might pickup was nice, but fighting that variant of the big ol' spike room with the hedgehog, a lower level hedgehog gun, was not friendly. Because I quite honestly had extreme trouble hitting it and didn't do a whole lot of damage. And then everything spawned on my head and it's just like, well, I'm dead. Anyway, still a good run, still short, and it's kind of nice to have, you know. A run that's not going to take another 20 hours to upload because uh, uh, the reason for the pause earlier was because I had another very long episode to uh, upload. I think I kind of failed to actually finish saying that. But anyway, that's that's what my computer is currently doing. And apparently it broke. Oh, that makes me very angry. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next run of Tower of Guns. And as always, thanks for watching.